Hello, and today I'm going to talk about how to make patrols in the Men of War Assault Squad 2's gem editor. So as soon as you load up the editor, you'll be brought to this screen. So what you're going to want to do is hit F3 uh, to load into F3 mode. So you're going to do that by hitting F3 on your keyboard. You're going to go to the top right and click on that and hit load. So you're going to load up a new map, go to multi, and just load up any random multiplayer map. Now once you've loaded... Uh, go to the Entities tab, which is this icon right here. It looks like a little like box with an X on it. Then go to Human, then MP, and then just select any faction uh, and spawn in one infantry unit. Um, you left-click to place down the soldier. Um, now what you want to do is select this soldier. Uh, you want to go to the right to its uh, properties and give it a team. So you, where it says Player, just change that to Player 1. All right, now what you're going to do is um, press W, and then 6, which is shortcut for tags, and just give this a tag, uh, and this will be useful for um, scripting later on, and I'm just going to call it patrol, and I'll hit enter. I'm going to hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is uh, go to waypoints, which is this little icon with the flag, um, and hit add at the top right, and give it a name for its patrol set. I'll call it patrol in this case. Now we're under waypoints and next to autolink, um, I'm going to hit add and uh, you're going to play left click and it's going to like have like a little uh, cone icon select it and just hit add again and you're going to create like a little small um, waypoint set and uh, right click to get rid of so these yellow lines indicate that they're connecting and the arrows point in the direction it is going so um, in order to create a continuous patrol we need to connect uh, waypoint 3 and 0, so to do that you select the first ending waypoint and the last, um, and the very last waypoint that you want, so you shift click and what you do is just hit link and then they link up together and the arrow is pointing in that direction, so it's going in a circular motion. Now head over to triggers, it's like this little uh, wire and um, I'm just going to delete these two really quick. So right click on the open box and hit add insert, give it a name. Now go straight to commands and right click to hit add. And go to other and search for actor to waypoint. Now for the selector, you're going to expand this box and where it says tag, give it the tag of the infantry unit that we uh, gave tags to earlier. So in my case it was patrol, uh, hit OK. Now for the waypoint, uh, that's the starting waypoint your infantry unit will start on, so in my case it will be zero. Uh, it does not matter which waypoint it starts at, but uh, for sake we'll put it at zero. And the approach, I'm going to put it to teleport and rotate. So the infantry will teleport to waypoint zero, and he'll rotate in the direction he has to go, so he'll be facing that way. And you can hit OK to get out of that. Um, next, you're going to right click again under commands and you're going to add in actor state. Again, where for the selector, expand the box. And for the tag, you're just going to use the same exact tag that we did for the actor to waypoint. Hit OK. And all you're going to do is just change the speed and uh, make it uh, set it to walk so he actually looks like he's patrolling. And then hit OK. And then to test, you're just going to hit F1 on your keyboard and hit start. And you'll notice he is walking in that walking animation. And I'll switch back to F3 to show you that he's following the waypoint sets. And uh, let me just speed this up a little bit just to demonstrate that he is he will constantly go in a loop forever and ever. Unless if something else stops him. And uh, that's really about it. So I hope you enjoy and uh, signing off.